Hi. Good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, Twitch viewers, chat, VOD people. Howdy. So today, uh, I decided I'm I want to fucking stream again. So I lately have uh, been hearing a lot about uh, Remedy's new like latest release, Alan Wake Two. Uh, it won so many awards at the Game Awards. Uh, I've seen a couple scenes out of context that are just absolutely delightful, and uh, so. I'm interested so well, I'm going to be starting today from Alan Wake the first uh, in the series from 2010 I've got it here on PC and yeah in just a moment we'll be getting started just get this game window open so I'm going into this mostly blind very little knowledge about the series as a whole, uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, and I, I, I dressed up for the occasion as usual. Capture this window. You can tell it's been a minute since I streamed, because I'm doing everything really slowly. Let's see. Game audio sound all right. <laughs> yeah, hopefully if, if it's too loud or quiet, just let me know. Oh. Let me just bump that to here. We're gonna do normal difficulty because I am uh Stephen King I'm brave. Once that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. <laughs> so yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Uh-oh. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Uh. He was dead. He looked so wet. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Ooh. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Hmm. I will not. Oh. Like a strange motion blur. But I, I know it's on purpose because uh, we're in a dream. Oh. That's some books. Must have spilled out of the trunk. 
I was certain I had just driven from this direction, <laughs> but now the road was blocked. Roadrunner ass shit. Oh, each copy of the book the has lighthouse. physics. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Uh, I should get to the lighthouse. That's probably a good idea. I do want to examine the car. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. I see. Oh. The lighting effects are pretty damn good for 2010. Hmm. Is this an item? The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Buffy. Oh, it's a collectible. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought it would stop me. Hello, Pi. I... I don't know why I expected there to be some kind of invisible wall. Not just... Oh, fall and die. I do think I need to recollect... The, oh, okay. The rigid collapsed. Left button to sprint. To find another way to the lighthouse. This is, this is a very Xbox 360 controller type game, so that is what I am playing it with. Got some beer. Ooh. <laughs> that is some very bouncy fo foliage. Oh, missing poster. Have you seen this man? <laughs> Wait, is that Alan? Is that supposed to be Alan? The hair kind of lines up. That's funny. Oh. Oh! Oh! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Uh oh. You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never uh. publish another one of those shitty stories. Because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are Okay, no collectibles back here. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap. <laughs> That's so fucked up. He's so shit. mean. <laughs> That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Oh, QR code. Hold on. I want to know where that goes. Come on, come on, please scan before the he gets to me. The like dream aberration effect is making it difficult to catch the QR code. Come on, almost. Yeah. Oh, is that a functional picture of it, please? It might not- Oh, the Facebook page! Awesome, thank you, bye! <laughs> That's so funny! We'll look at that once we're, uh... Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> you missed your deadline. Uh oh. Damn. You can't stop me. Oh. How? Uh. Oh. I realized the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Uh oh. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Crash can. Well, made a sprint, so I suppose I should just kind of keep running. Oh, oh dear. This way, this way. Donkey Kong! Hurry! Thank you. Get inside. There's no time to lose. It's coming inside now. It's, wait, it's what now? Oh no. Stop. He does have such a jippy jump. No. Damn it, die. No, no. no! <gasps> How do I go about that? Uh oh. Oh. Follow the light. Oh. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh, cool. Oh, well done. I have you can tell a writer you. wrote this, like this. and as or writers do tend to do. That beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Do I understand? No. no. <laughs> Protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Oh. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Honky. Oh, I have limited flashlight batteries. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take Thank the you. gun. Now you'll die. 
Nice. Good. You've done well. Oh, Remember geez. what I taught you. There's a tap to all. reload faster. Oh god. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on earth. Sorry, one second, just pulling something up. One moment. There we go. Sorry about that. Cool. You met me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Nice. Oh. Over the ledge. Hopefully that that's got him for good. Oh. oh. Ooh, fire gun. Yay. My light away, asshole. I should just run. Oh, oh shit. Daddy. It is a storm from Fortnite. Alan, are you having Fortnite dreams again? In a dream, I was late to buying the battle pass. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Wake up. Right balls. Let's see.
Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Yeah, sure. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Uh, hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, Deer huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard thing to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thank you, uh, sir. No interviews, so. though. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. <laughs> So you made a friend. That's cute. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Looking Barry. in the car. Yeah. We just got it. Look at the detailed interior. Look at those bags. The word, They're cute. Hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Oh, this guy has guns. Sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. We're just settling in. Yeah, okay. God, Barry. Later, God. Sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. I love you, you know say. I'm going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> We're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Huh. I don't know. I want to see what's up with this guy over here. Damn yuppies. <laughs> Patrick Bateman ass. Whoa. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. Try. all the arrangements. <laughs> I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. <laughs> we need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. <laughs> Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise <laughs> to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for- Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe oh. it. I've got all your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Oh dear. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. <laughs> Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Ah, uh, he's such a PNG. Have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Yeah, Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? Yeah. I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut! 
Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? <laughs> you disgust me. Coconut again? You disgust me. <laughs> uh, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. All right. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Don't you think it's for the lime? The lime in the coconut, she drank it both up. She put the lime in the coconut, she drank it both up. She put the lime in the coconut. Ah, the pictures are so good. Let's find Carl Stucky. I think I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stuck to, to get the key and get out as soon worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Uber Eager fans person. always did. Uh huh. Uh, he, he has such a dramatic inner monologue. Hello? Bathroom. Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Hello. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Uh. And to meet your wife. I insist. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Aldrin Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I'm sure it is. <laughs> you got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. <laughs> That's so unsettling. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn, Pony. Uh huh. It was up like a balloon if I lifted the ambulance from his balloon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time. Good to see you. Hey, you happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Tom. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic if they called them like Yeah, I think they're... I think that's all gods of Asgard. Local musicians. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Hello? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my 
favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Hey, we're here. Oh. Wow. It's gorgeous out. <laughs> it's something, all right. This sure is a beautiful I'll place get to get murdered. Sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure <laughs> Was it? we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Let's see what's over this way. Goodbye, wife. I am I'm going home. <laughs> oh, wow, they really just let you walk all the way up here, huh? Funny. Because there's a thermos. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant Ooh. volcano under it. That's pretty sick. This looks so much like the like starting trail of uh, Resident Evil 4 <laughs> to me. Taking non existent fall damage. Yeah, this has so much Xbox three sixty charm. It's kind of everything to me. Oh, bird like cabin, yeah. If I get to the end of this game and there is just like one thermos missed, I will like stop streaming forever. It would be my final stream. Oh. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, so I did go the right way. Huh. Oh, we got the generator on. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here. Sleep here oh, thanks for subbing and me. forget about my work. Not subbing, following. I don't have subs enabled yet. It'd be here. like that.
Oh, the door closes on its own. And open both opens both ways. Interesting. Alice, honey, fuck that horse. <laughs> a shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Huh. Thomas Zane. Let's see, we have In Her Dreams to Prevail, Kept from Sleep, The Labyrinth of Me, and the Temple of Ah, Temple of Shadow and Mist. The physics are very good. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. No, oh, one sec. Sorry, miss. Hello, bitch. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh, God. My favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. <laughs> oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBF FM. And now it's the music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Yippee! The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Ooh. I'm assuming it would be a bad idea to jump in the water. Let's go see Alice. Alan, come here, Slowpoke. I'm waiting. Hold on, I'm to get a lay of the land. Like, jeez, water. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you. Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not <laughs> like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew uh -huh. she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some oh. time alone to think things through. I had to be alone. To get away. Damn it. Alice? Uh huh. Heaven had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the hell? Oh. Birds. No! Oh dear. Hello. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> I 
keep going. that something terrible had happened to Alice. Oh, jeez. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Ow. Mm. Whoops. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> oh, live wire. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. This is about me after one too many mimosas. I think I'm going the right direction. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Uh-oh. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Huh. Oh. If I come back on a higher difficulty, I can find more pages. That's interesting. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Oh. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. A logging company. Oh no. A logging company. That sounds like axes to me. I wonder if there's coffee around. Oh. Uh, shit, Alan doesn't have any protective eyewear. It's probably not good. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. 
I need help. Deposit. Listen, I need two premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Uh oh. Non refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> Manuscript. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood Ooh. from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. <laughs> Close. Get jump up there. Second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. All right, <laughs> he didn't have to come out and say it. During your trying. It's the latest. Yes. In oh, right fall shark. Roman. Hello. Hello. Damn it. One. This is bad. Oh. Oh no. Oh, how do I even reach the gas station from here? Okay. There were more of them. Oh, dodge. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. That's good to know. Oh, and you can follow like splatters of paint to it. That's pretty cool. Some of them are arrows. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything back here. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Alan. Just a good kick ought to the do it. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. At least we have plenty of flashlight batteries for now. Oh, wrong gun. 
Whoops. Oh, well, that that did the trick at least. Maybe I should go up this way. Oh, yep, good idea. There's a manuscript page. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wade oh. was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She had given anything to be called their friend. <laughs> Love a good parasocial relationship. I wonder if it's going to turn into stalkerish behavior later in the game. Uh. I wonder if I missed any manuscript pages too. Probably not. I've been, I've been pretty thorough looking around. They've got the atmosphere down fucking pat. I am when I saw the river unsettled. Below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Oh, you don't want to look at the water? But it's so pretty. That Skyrim mass waterfalls. Oh, hello. Where'd he go? He was definitely over there. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking me. Oh. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. Barry Wheeler. He jumped on the plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice. That's his name. Days. His last name is mean that they Wheeler. On a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Oh dear. Should be the right direction. Wait, is it? Yeah, I think heading towards the light is probably a good bet. Ooh, lithium batteries. Nice, nice. Oh, uh, uh. Uh, dodge. Uh, 
At least I'm a decent shot so far. I haven't been wasting much ammo. Because I'm usually pretty bad about that. Uh, oh yeah, probably here and then up here. Oh, see it at my own risk. This is a logging area. Ooh, arrows. Oh, this way, sorry. Oh. Oh, he climbs ladders so slowly. That's gonna be... Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Like a whole ass shit. Taken. They're taken. Taken. I see. Taken by whom? Or what? I love that they're just straight up energizer batteries. It feels just like the, uh, Duracell batteries in Pikmin 2. Let's head back. That's cool. That that was a straight up piece of information. Just uh, tucked away. There's not a way to go. Probably this way. I figured again towards the light is the staircase was broken. Oh dear. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh that this is where I oh it's the place of the dream. Uh oh. Hmm. Out of ammo. Or out of space for ammo, so I might use some here and then go for there was it. no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Uh, okay. Find it. Gotta get the power on, baby. <laughs> uh, the tap reloaded so fast. He's like, duh, 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 duh. All right. Nice generator. <laughs> Ooh, and a light over there. That's so helpful. Also, like, I, I wonder if he's awake or not right now. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. Uh. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes. Black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. <laughs> God, he's so scared. He's so scared. Oh, a shotgun, yes! I love a good shotgun. To be up here. Unless this is a ladder I've already checked out. Oh. Uh, huh. purpose to this? Maybe no, or maybe. <laughs> maybe it'll come into play later. First, let me pick up some more. Over ammo. Oh, I 
I see. Right about there ought to do it. Alan, what? Oh, fuck yeah. Coffee. Delicious. Always willing to take fall damage for a little bit of coffee. Like, yep, this is it, boys. We're in the Alan waking nightmare. Ah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yay. just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now but if you're still up and around take a moment step outside for a spell and breathe in deep mm, the weather is absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you uh -huh. do you listen to no I'm, I'm a night owl and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Ooh. Hey, it's Maurice Horton. Uh, Maurice. Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, Toby! beautiful out there. Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he was just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You uh -huh. have a good night now. Hey. Maybe we'll find Toby out here. Page. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. Oh. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages Ooh. feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. The gas station was closer now. We're getting it's close. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best uh. dogs in the state. Barry Mercer is the best with no coat. Monster dog mm. is second best. I assume he's talking about hot dogs. Because I, I, I don't think you usually make a dog. Oh! Yeah, the combat is 
exhilarating. Oh, another one. Ah, oh, shit. Stop throwing shit at me, you asshole. Ah. into the gas station's garage it Ooh. was dark and quiet the place was a mess it looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and i made my way toward it without any warning i was blinded by a bright light an old portable tv on the shelf had come alive by itself impossibly i could see myself on the screen talking like a madman Ooh. Uh, I love that you can find pages like describing things in the past or things that are about to happen. So cool. Oh, safe haven. I like that it shows you when there's enemies behind you as well. That's very helpful, really. My characterization of Alan Wake here, he's someone who kind of, no matter how dangerous it is, feel this need to see what's around every corner, just in case it's, like, the thing, you know? Not like the movie The Thing, but like the thing that'll make things work for him or whatever. Not phrasing that well. Be with caution. Oh, another logging area. There's a lot of logging areas over here. Time for large vehicles. Uh. Oh, three of them. We enjoy the magnificent woods. Oh, <laughs> oh that's really good. The cabin on Cauldron Lake, oh. she asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help, but I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Oh dear. I like how we just keep picking up another shotgun, but you don't actually put the other shotgun away. Oh. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. Oh. The price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. 
Hold on, I'm gonna get out of the way of the subtitles. Let me. <laughs> There's just gonna be a little sideways now. Uh, that's probably the best place to not block anything on screen. gentlemen of the press i am dr barkley colvin and i'm glad so many of you could join me here at the moorcock institute tonight i'm going to give a think all tabbing fuck up the video the that's unfortunate world's interpretation as you can see this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol it shall be part of a thought experiment and now a real experiment Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Uh, is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is uh, no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And uh, yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and uh -huh. they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools gaze upon quantum immortality. Uh oh. <laughs> poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unlocked, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night spring. That's really good. <laughs> Always love a good Twilight Zone parody. Unnerved by the hanging logs. I feel like they're gonna start falling. Uh... Oh dear. Oh 
Ah, oh, that's so many. Oh, oops. Oh. Okay, the cutscenes, or the, not the cutscenes, the checkpoints are fairly generous. That's good. I'm historically not great at dodge timing, so just warning for that throughout this entire playthrough. God, there's so many of them. Please, I just want to pick up the thermos. <laughs> I just want it so bad. This makes me sprint when I try to dodge. But that that could just be my timing. Oh, ah. <laughs> I am on normal difficulty, so I I I'm not in pussy mode, but I am a bit of a pussy, unfortunately. So scary.
Uh, oh my holy shit <laughs> this is tough I I feel like I've I've gotten the the message about spark plugs by now my guy It's like oh, once they all get too close, it's it's over. Double hit too. Ah, oh, God. That's the end of them. Behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Oh, God. Uh, th this is good. This is good survival horror, like, or survival action horror, really. And definitely compare it to Resident Evil. Oh, so I do just open it. I, I was like, do I have to shoot this box? <laughs> Maybe I could run back and get some more revolver ammo real quick. Because I, I did just use up a lot of it. Nice. That, that was a whole ass mini boss, perhaps even an area boss. This is so much like Dark Souls. <laughs> this, this did come out a year before Dark Souls, so it's a moot comparison, I suppose. Oh, yes, Italian gasoline. I recognized the parade float I had seen in White Falls <laughs> when I first arrived with Alice. Oh, he looks so silly. Uh, there's a lot of fucked up cars over here. That's... <laughs> Actually, that's gonna be the next outfit. No more Alan Wake suit. I'm just gonna After dress up as the deer float. Experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Just wanted to go in the dumpster. Little ass. Okay. Oh, it's the 68th. Damn, we should have came back next year. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Oh dear, that's that's not good, man. 
I wait, I that pun was not intentional. I I swear. Uma. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Gotcha. Thanks for the tip, Alan. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Oh wait, that was in the that was in the manuscript, wasn't it? That like that exact quote. <laughs> you totally wrote that, Alan. Oh. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been uh. me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? I see. Alan Rental. Oh, there is a phone right there, but let me make sure there's nothing else in here before I. Oh. September 15th to 18th. Games activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contests, and surprise competitions. Live music! Oh, Bucktooth Charlie and Montgomery the Mystics. Amazing Phantasmagoria. Holy shit. And the Deerfest Parade. I Honestly, it's tragic that we just missed it, I believe. Hi, Josh. <laughs> oh, it's in uh, the old room. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. Well, we, we got the police. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Oh. Uh. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. That was also in the manuscript. in the first place, huh? No, Kevin, I lied. Oh, yeah, I am going out tonight, so shortly after this cutscene, I'll be saving the game and heading out. Wait, first, a flashback, a little teaser for next stream, I suppose. Honey, I'm home. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Oh, coffee. But...
Oh, I, I did miss a page of the manuscript. Yeah, I figure, I figure there's an autosave. Oh, there's statistics as well. Oh, I, there's a statistic for that can pyramid that I knocked over. That's so funny. Awesome. So, we will be returning to this, uh, hopefully sometime this week. I'm working a 9 to 5 now, but if I can make the time, I would love to, uh, stream a little more consistently. If not, uh, weekday evenings, and at, at, the, at least, like, on weekends. So, thank you everyone who dropped by for the stream today, uh, and you all have a good night. I will see you all next time. Farewell.